There's a quiet this morning at the Skyway. We are officially halfway through qualifying rounds. So far we have seen stellar racing from some of the fastest, most strategic and downright relentless drivers ever to grace the Skyway. Thanks to all who've been on this journey with us from the beginning. We couldn't do this alone. And for those of you just joining us, welcome and buckle up. We're headed to Slide Street for Group 9 of qualifying rounds for the 2022 Skyway Grand Prix. Imani Cruz driving in the heavy, a Nissan Silvia S14 weighing 51.2 grams. Quincy Flex driving in Superman, a Toyota GR Supra weighing 47.5 grams. Stacy Pointer driving in Wild Horses, a Ford Mustang RTR Spec 5 weighing 53.7 grams. And Rupert Spry driving in Mango Kart, a Toyota AE86 Sprinter Trueno weighing 48.1 grams. There they are, Group 9, three cars from the Japanese domestic market against one lonely American Mustang. Let's join them up at the start gate for race one. Quincy Flex and Stacy Pointer in front, Rupert Spry and Imani Cruz in the rear. And they're off. Stacy Pointer pulling out ahead of the pack. Her lead grows out down the drop. Great control out of turn two. A, a hop catching air out of turn three. There's no one else in sight. Stacy Pointer with a fantastic first run takes race one. And Imani Cruz pulls ahead right at the last moment for third place. Let's take a look at that replay. There she is, Stacy Pointer, leaving the whole pack in her rear view. But I want you to pay attention to Quincy Flex going into turn two. Imani Cruz attempts to pass on the inside and Rupert Spry on the high outside. Quincy Flex, now completely vertical, shuts them both down. Now we've seen maneuvers like this before and if group eight is any indicator, it can be catastrophic. But watch this, at the very end, we see that Quincy Flex not only recovers from such a drastic block, but in fact takes a substantial lead and in reverse, no less. Now I highlight these moments because they begin to reveal the strategy of each group or individual driver. With a leader like Stacy Pointer, defensive maneuvers could be a driver's only chance at taking first position on the leaderboard. Stacy Pointer rockets into first place with a fantastic first run. Quincy Flex secures second place with his muscular defensive maneuver and Imani Cruz squeezing past Rupert Spry at the very last moment, hanging on in third position. With Stacy Pointer now in the back row, perhaps Quincy Flex can step into the offensive. Rupert Spry wastes no time taking the lead into turn one, sustains into open lane. Stacy Pointer's just driven off the track. Rupert Spry holds the lead into turn four. Imani Cruz passes Flex down the front straight. Spry takes race two with Cruz and Flex to follow. But no Stacy Pointer, we must take a closer look at what happened. We've seen drivers take the plunge from the Skyway many times in this competition, but something about this instance feels unique. It's as though Stacy Pointer just drove right off the track. But if we take a closer look, as Imani Cruz approaches turn two, she situates herself on the low inside, cutting in front of Pointer. As Cruz slides into place, the rear of her car functions to push Pointer right over the edge. That is a very subtle and savage form of racing. These are very heavy Heavy cars matched with dangerous momentum, we are truly dealing with unstoppable forces. Rupert Spry springs to first position with six points from last to first. We love to see it. Cruz, Flex and Pointer all tied now in second place after race two and each one only one point away from first position. It's still anyone's race. Anything can happen. Imani Cruz in pole position and in the front for the first time. Let's see what she can do. And they're off. Imani Cruz powers ahead, charging into turn one. Stacy Pointer staying close. Cruz throws a vertical block, still ahead out of turn two, but I don't see Stacy Pointer. Where is Stacy Pointer? Cruz's lead grows and grows, raging across the finish. Cruz takes race three, followed by Flex and Spry, but no Stacy Pointer. Oh no, not again. Where did it all go wrong this time? Watch just as they enter open lane track. Cruz once again takes the inside position as they approach turn two. Pointer almost immediately rises to pass on the outside. Cruz reaches up, rising with a vertical block, and now we go blind behind the banking wall. Now let's take this slowly. There, 
Stacy Pointer falls from the track in the middle of turn two, and in the same instance, Imani Cruz is well in control, powering ahead out of turn two. Now, this commentary is mostly speculation, but it now looks to be a combination of Imani Cruz coming out of block position, once again with a heavy tail destabilizing the front of Pointer, and Rupert Spry darting round the turn, pushing an already unstable Pointer off the track. A double team and a dirty one at that. This group is relentless. They've identified their biggest threat, Stacy Pointer, and as a team have successfully removed that threat, quite literally upsetting the leaderboard and showing that speed is not everything here at the Skyway. Imani Cruz solidifies herself as the group leader. Flex and Spry tied still in second position and Stacy Pointer in last place, posting zero points two races in a row. Now in pole position, perhaps she can get out ahead, clear of any defensive maneuvers from the other drivers. Wow, right away, Stacy Pointer takes command. Cruz staying close, Cruz understeers, rides the inner wall. Pointer rockets out to turn three, no one to stop her now. Stacy Pointer takes race four. Cruz, Flex and Spry follow in that order. Wow, with no one in her way, Stacy Pointer rockets ahead from the rest of the group. It could have remained a close race, but as Cruz exits turn two, she understeers, popping up on the inner wall, grinding away her much needed speed if she was to remain in contention for first position. In the meantime, Stacy Pointer's covered serious track, gaining a lead unstoppable by any other. I don't believe it will be enough to advance on, unfortunately. Imani Cruz solidly takes race nine. She's worked for it with great consistency and strategy. She was able to neutralize her biggest threats and showcase for all of us just what technical racing is all about. As for Stacy Pointer, she joins the ranks of other fast drivers and reckless ones too, like Stetson Horn, Jasper Pierce, and Terry Terrible. Imani Cruz will be the ninth driver to join the top 16 and prepare to face off with the other winners in the quarterfinals of the 2022 Skyway Grand Prix. We'll be taking Monday off. Be on the lookout for Group 10 sometime later next week. Until then, drive safely and always take the high road.